Alright guys, it is a blissfully gorgeous rainy day in paradise here on Tuesday afternoon, August 30th, 2022. Hallelujah, sitting here uh, climbing out of the hole of Ithaca, New York. So anyway, I am still trying to figure out the paper bag ban in New York uh, for the six or seven people on the planet who saw my rant from Walmart a couple of days ago where you can no longer get a paper bag at Walmart in the state of New York. And they were telling me that as of September 15th, that paper bags are going to be illegal in the state of New York. So I don't know why Walmart ripped them all down. So anyway, I've been going from store to store. This is from Lowe's, this paper bag. Nobody knows what the hell I am talking about. Nobody at Lowe's, nobody at Wegmans, nobody at even at Habitat for Humanity. Nobody has heard anything about a paper bag ban in the state of New York. And I Googled it last night. I can find nothing. Nowhere a, on Google can I find that the state of New York has banned paper bags. Now you can find plenty of articles and, and good for New York uh, banning, you know, the single use plastic bags. Uh, those are gone and you get charged five cents per paper bag. Uh, so you can find all that, but I cannot find anything on Google that New York is banning paper bags. Uh, not one word. Well, this was last night, unless something has come up today. So I don't know what the hell. I, I don't know if New York has actually banned paper bags or not. You know, I've just, uh, I've been laughing about this ever since. Uh, yeah, so I go to Walmart and I bought five items. Uh, the, the three that you saw in that video, okay. I bought a three pound slab of bacon, which was wrapped in plastic. Basically a plastic bag full of bacon. Next to that was a gallon of milk in a plastic jug. Next to that was a half gallon of ice cream in a plastic carton. And then what you did not see in that video was two plastic bags of corn chips. So uh, if I had been able to buy a paper bag, uh, at Walmart, if I'd have been able to spend the nickel, what I would have put in it were five items, every one of them wrapped in plastic. Uh, <laughs> you know, literally the two plastic bags of uh, tortilla chips. Uh, so five plastic wrapped items uh, would have gone in that one paper bag. So, you know, I, I'm really trying to figure out the logic of, uh, of forcing people to, uh, to, you know, buy these Save the Planet reusable cloth bags. So I tried to do some research on that about the environmental effects of reusable cloth bags. Kind of hard to uh, get any real information, but you, you know, the bottom line is no shit, Sherlock. No, okay, so there is clearly, clearly by orders of magnitude, there is more damage done to this planet creating uh, a fucking reusable shopping bag than in a paper bag. 
Uh, this is an absolute no-brainer. Uh, so, you know, the little bit of stuff you can find is says, well, obviously it's hard to make this calculation. It all depends on how many times you, you, you reuse your reusable bag. So you buy one of these cloth bags, I don't know, let's say it takes 20 times the toll on the planet to make a reusable uh, cloth bag than it does to make a paper bag you know, a brown paper bag, which is either, quote, recyclable, or what I do is uh, they're great for starting fires with, but even a paper bag, a, you know, just getting left out in the elements is going to be turned back into dirt uh, in, in, in a couple of weeks. That's why you never see uh, you know, when you're looking uh, at this plastic pollution stuff, uh, you know, with these rivers in Asia choked with all this plastic, plastic shit, you never see paper bags piling up uh, in, in the environment. Uh, the worst case is if they get loose in the environment that they're just going to rot. Uh, if they're not recycled. So let's say it takes the same bite out of the planet to, uh, to make one cloth, I'm hydroplaning, to make one cloth bag as it does 20, as it does 20 paper bags. So if you use your, if you reuse your reusable cloth bag 21 times, then I guess you're saving the planet uh, more than using paper bags. But, if, but, but how many people use those fucking things? I probably have 300 of those goddamn cloth bags because no single male, well, maybe gay guys, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if gay men uh, use, you know, reuse cloth bags or not. But uh, I, I know that heterosexual men, at least, and... You know, probably 95% of, of uh, heterosexual men, particularly those uh, without a woman in their life, don't reuse the cloth bags. They, they get their fucking groceries, they take their groceries in the kitchen, they unpack their fucking groceries, they forget to put the fucking bag uh, out in the car, so these goddamn cloth bags are piling up in every single man's uh, kitchen in America. They, you know, there is not a single straight male uh, on this planet who uses a fucking uh, reusable cloth bag 20 times. Doesn't happen. And uh, I, I love the, uh, the great novel suggestion that the one article I found, the writer, was uh, pointing out, which is exactly, uh, you, you know, my no shit Sherlock point, that it's a fucking joke. If, if, if whether it's a paper bag or a fucking reusable cloth bag, if every motherfucking thing you're sticking in it is plastic. You get a fucking paper bag. Uh, what did I say? So I had five pieces of plastic uh, in, in, in one paper bag. I mean, what the fuck? Uh, how does how does fucking New York or anybody else thinking they're saving the fucking planet uh, by banning paper bags when every fucking thing you put in it is wrapped in fucking plastic? It's a fucking joke. 
You know, it's one of these little feel-good, little limp dick, lefty greeny, pat yourself on the back, virtue signaling. It's, it's, it's what these fucking reusable bags are. And I'm not knocking these reusable bags. You know, if you're female, or maybe if you're a gay male, I don't. I honestly don't know. I need to hear some from some gay. Do gay men? Would some gay? Would a few of you gay guys let me know. Do gay guys use these things? But I. <laughs> You know, it's, it's fucking virtue signaling. It is limp dick, little lefty greeny uh, virtue signaling that's not doing a fucking thing. Uh, when some little limp dick lefty greeny uh, goes shopping at fucking Wegmans or wherever. And I got to tell you, that fucking Wegmans grocery store, I honestly think is worse than Walmart. Uh, in their plastic. Uh, it's unbelievable how many single fruits and vegetables, individual fruits and vegetables, are wrapped in plastic at, at, at Wegmans, you know, the little uh, limp dick lefty grocery store in Ithaca. Uh, it, it, it's not doing a, a goddamn thing. You get a fucking, uh, you get a bag. And if you have a paper bag with five plastic items in it and you remove the paper bag from the waste stream, as it were, uh, <laughs> You, you, you know, it's like banning uh, fucking plastic straws. Uh, paper bags uh, are, are not the, the fucking problem. It's all the fucking plastic going into the fucking paper bags. But, uh, you know, goddamn New York... Uh, the uh, fucking virtue signaling mask Nazi uh, little limp dick lefty bright green lies uh, acting like banning fucking uh, paper bags is saving the planet. Uh, my guess is that uh, the, these fucking reusable bags uh, are going to take more of a toll uh, off of this planet uh, over the next how many years than, the, than a fucking bunch of paper bags ever would. So uh, get out there and enjoy your paper bags while you still can. Uh, although I honestly don't know if uh, paper bags are illegal in New York or not because nobody has heard of this except for these uh, guys at Walmart trying to sell me one of their fucking whatever they were in dollar fifty. Uh, Save the planet, reusable bags. Oh, but man, would you look at this rain. Okay, so I am now halfway home to Bugs in a Jar. I am about six miles from Bugs in a Jar farm. Uh, there. <laughs> If I get home and, and find that fucking, uh, the street barely wet, I bet my ducks are having a party. Bring it on. Hallelujah. Gotta love it. Bye, guys.